Hello, my name is Artem Kashishian. I'm going to cut my friend Corey's hair today. We're going to use a scissor over comb technique. We're going to use a clipper over comb technique. Also, we're going to use some other techniques which help you do a men's haircut with ease. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start at the nape of his hair and I'm going to place the comb, which is a wide tooth comb, at a 45 degree angle. And as I do that, I'm going to place my fingers on his neck as I go up towards his occipital bone. That way, you'll have a good stability and control. The scissor that I'm using, it has a six inch blade. It helps cut more and it prevents less guidelines I have to blend. So it's helpful in doing a men's haircut in time and efficiency. Again, at a 45 degree angle, with my finger placed on his head, and I'm going up his head at a 45 degree angle and not pushing the comb down with my scissors by putting your fingers on his head you definitely have much better control using your middle finger to hold the ear down and you can also use the comb to hold the ear down this is a great technique so it helps you get the ear out of the way and again at the sides you definitely want to use a 45 degree angle with the comb and the comb is pressed against his head right at the hairline as you go up the hairline and towards the occipital bone, you pick up the hair and move away from the scalp as you're going up. The further up you go, the further you pull the comb out. So in essence, you're using the comb as, your, as, is, as is, is your fingers. Just to make sure you see the teeth coming out of the hair before you cut anything. So as I'm blending the sides to the back, same technique, I'm going up and I'm placing my fingers on his head for stability. Again, my fingers are on his head for stability as I'm going up the size of his head. You want to pick up the hair with the end of your comb and not the middle of your comb. So you can cut more hair as you go. And by doing that, you eliminate cutting your fingers by accident. But definitely keep the scissor away from your fingers. In this haircut, these techniques you could do on Asian hair, you can do on any kind of hair to achieve this look. You could also do this with comb and a clipper, which we are going to do that in a little while. Anytime you see a line, pick up the hair with a comb and just 
pull it out just a little bit and cut the line that you see to blend it. The easiest way to blend lines is just to go right at it and then just cut them. I'm taking the top down just a little bit. And I'm not quite sure exactly what length I want. I'm just taking a little bit at a time just to see where I want it to be. Again, I'm placing my fingers on his head. It's a stability for the comb. And I'm just picking up the hair with the comb instead of my fingers. And just cutting it 90 degrees from the scalp. Just taking some of the length down. He's got really thick hair. I'm gonna go in a, in a little bit and texturize some of that thickness out. So we're at 45 degree angle from the nape up and as it gets to the crown we're gonna go to a 90 and just kind of round that off to blend it with the top these techniques are good because it provides the client with a haircut that it's just not you know anybody can do it's not like you're using a guard, one, two, four, or five. So it makes it a little bit more uh, special. And then the client feels like they're actually getting a good haircut and it's just not very mechanical. It was just a clipper and a guard. I'm just blending the sides to the crown. Pretty thick hair on top. Um, I'm trying to decide what length do I want up there. Again, I'm blending it just a little bit. Just to kind of give it, not exactly faux hawk, but kind of a messy look on top. And I'm overextending the front just a little bit to preserve the length. Still quite a bit of hair on the sides. I'm going to go and take some of that out. I'm blending it with my thinning shear. It's the easiest way to do that without creating any lines and you can actually take a lot of hair out you can take the bulk out with your thinning shear and it's it eliminates any cut lines that you have to blend later same technique here you know keeping the comb steady keeping the the ends of the comb out of the hair so you're not cutting too deep. I'm doing the same thing in the back. 